Hi there, this is Unmesh. How are you doing today? Hope you're having an amazing day and making it an awesome one because today I'm going to show you something so amazing that I'm going to skip the intro and show that to you. And that is how to automatically create image assets without doing anything, without doing any kind of saving. As you work in Photoshop, it will automatically create image assets for you. Isn't that so amazing? Let me show that to you, how it works. All right, so here we are in Photoshop and here we have a very simple composite. Let's have a look at it. Here we have the subject, original. I've kept that as a backup. On top of it, simple grunge texture, nothing complex. And the text and the graphic and the subject and a grunge overlay to add some extra grunge and texture to it. And levels, I've added a vignetting effect and there's already a video about it. Check that out right here. And then the light effect. All right, this seems very simple. Now, here's what you have to do to be able to get Photoshop to automatically generate assets for you. First of all, let's save this composite on the desktop. So go to File, Save As. I'll save it in Desktop. I'll choose Desktop, Composite 1, that's fine. And as a Photoshop document, hit Save. Hit OK. Now, once that is saved, let's do this. Go to File, and this is crucial. Go to File, Generate Image Assets. Now, once you click on that, it looks like nothing happened, but a lot has happened. Let me show you how. Let's have a look at the desktop. So if I just stick it in this side, see composite one PSD has been created. Now have a look at this. Nothing else is there, but have a look. If I go to the text, if I rename it, double click on it. And if I name it as text.png, hit the enter key. Now watch what happens. See a new folder has been created composite one assets now let's open up that folder and let's stick it in on the right hand side see text png separately a png of just that layer has been created now if i erase that png it will delete the photo so as we work on photoshop image assets are being created real time and you can do this for the groups as well so here we have the subject group you can do to individual elements so I'm going to open up the subject group. So here we have just the subject, right? And if I rename it as layer one dot say JPEG, JPG, okay, it will save that as a JPEG. See, now it puts a white background because JPEG does not support transparency, right? Have a look at the photo. It's created a JPEG of just that layer. Isn't that so amazing? Let me show that to you. So here we are, right? Amazing, isn't it? Now let's close it. Now you can save that as a PNG as well. If I rename it as a PNG, it will save with a transparent background, not P. If you write something wrong, errors will show up, errors.txt. So you have to name it correctly, .png, and it will be saved. We are waiting, we're waiting a little bit, and it will be saved. Let's see what happens. There we go. Now this has transparent background as you can see. Isn't that amazing? Now, you can do this with groups as well. So we can do this. We can just collapse the group and just for the group subject dot PNG. And it creates it for the whole group with all the effects in, with everything in, whatever is inside that group. Okay, let's see. It will show up. There you go. Subject dot PNG. There you go. All right. Isn't that amazing? Now, here's what you can do as well. For example, if you want to resize it, this grunge texture is really huge. If I show you, let me just get it full screen. All right. If I show you the dimension, have a look at the dimension. It's 87324912. It's really huge. At this point of time, if I just rename it as grunge texture dot JPEG. All right. I'm going to put it at the side just like that. Have a look at the size. It's going to be really huge. If I show you the size, it's 11 megabytes. It's very huge. For example, if you want to resize it, you can do that as well. You can rename it as for example, you want to resize it down to 50%. So I will type in 50% space, hit enter, grunge texture. Let's see what happens. It will be saved as 50% now. It's the same grunge texture dot JPEG, but have a look at the size. It's 4.5 megabytes. So how can this be useful? This is so amazing. This looks awesome. How can you use it? You have created a texture and saved it separately. And you can create a subject and save it separately. The whole group, you can create text. Now, you can create designs in all aspect ratios. For example, for Facebook cover, you might need wide something. Or for a mobile wallpaper, you might need something narrower. So you can just rearrange the text and the subject and the texture 
very easily. You don't have to mess with all of that. Just open up three of these and you're good to go. Just open up the grunge overlay as well and you're pretty much good to go. This method is very useful, especially in the design arena. Now, you can use it whatever way you want. So that is the technique. All you have to do, save it as a PSD any way you want and then turn on image assets by going to file generate and click on image assets and just where you have saved the PSD if you start renaming it as extensions name and extensions then in the same place a folder is created and inside that folder you will have all your image assets so that's pretty much it for this video hope this video helped you and if it did make sure to give us a like and also do not forget to subscribe and not just subscribe ring the bell so that you my friend don't miss any other future tip trick or tutorial thank you so much for watching and i would like to take this moment to thank all these nice and amazing people for supporting this channel on patreon and helping keep pics imperfect free for everybody forever thank you so much for all your support thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next one till then stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating